In this video, we will learn how to use the deposit report and the total revenue and payments report to reconcile your finances. Before you create manual journal entries in your financial system, you need to reconcile the transactions and deposits in Altru. Let's start by running the deposits report. If you have set up a job schedule to run the deposit process, you can simply run the deposits report. If you manually run the deposit process, you'll need to run it first. See Running the Deposit Process video to learn how to run this. To run the deposits report, first go to the Financials tab. Then, in the Reports area, click on Deposits. In the Date to Use field, select Deposit Date. In the Date field, select Specific Date and enter the date you want to reconcile. Select the Summary checkbox. Selecting the detail checkbox can help track down any differences, but may increase the length of time it takes to process the report. This report shows a summary of the deposits by payment method. It answers the question, what payment methods were collected today? What are my totals for each deposit that I'm sending to the bank? The deposit report only includes the depositable transactions and excludes payment methods such as gift certificate or pre altru This report also shows corrections from cash drawers being closed with an over or short amount. Next, let's run the total revenue and payments report. This report shows revenue, such as admissions and programs, memberships, event registrations, and donations. This report is dynamic and does not provide a static view of data over time. It represents the current state of data in the system and is not a historical view. Group sales prepayments show up as unearned revenue on this report. To run this report, first go to Financials. Then, in the Reports area, choose Total Revenue and Payments. In the Date field, choose the same date you chose for the deposit report. If you collect taxes and security deposits, select the checkboxes for including taxes and include security deposits, respectively. Check the box that says Show Payment Method Distribution. This will break down the data by payment method for easy comparison against the deposit report. Do not select Include Pledge Commitments Not Received and the Show Revenue That Moved From Unearned to Earned because doing so will overstate the report by the amount of the outstanding pledge installments or group sales. This report breaks down all of the revenue collected for the day. It answers the question, what did we collect today's payments for? The totals on the top section and the bottom section will match. Now that we've pulled both reports, compare the reports to ensure that the amounts for each payment method match. If they do, you can use the report as the source documents for making a manual journal entry into your financial system. Locate the total amounts for each payment method, such as cash, check, or credit card. This information is in the bottom section of the total revenue and payment report. Compare the cash amount to the cash amount shown on the deposit report. Repeat this for all payment methods. If the total revenue and payments report and the deposit report do not match one another, you may need to troubleshoot to identify issues. Common causes for discrepancies between these reports are drawers were not closed and approved, the total revenue and payment report shows non-depositable revenue, such as gift certificates, or incorrect report settings. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.